Hello traders and thank you for your interest in one option. This quick video is going to help you get started with all of our products and services. Before you even take the trial, I urge you do a pre-trial. Make sure that all the information that we provide, the research, that it's accurate, that you've got a good feeling for it, that you've done your due diligence. I want to make sure that you're not wasting your time. I want to make sure that we're not wasting our time trying to get you up to speed. Let's make sure that that groundwork, that framework is laid before you even take the trial. And there are lots of ways that you can do this. First of all, the FAQ page. This is the first link that I have on my website. It's very, very detailed, and this is only a portion of it. I think it's going to answer most of your questions. The ebook. I offer a free ebook on option trading. It is extensive. It talks about how the market needs to come first. What does that mean? How do we do our market analysis? 75% of all stocks follow the market, so we better get this part of the equation right. It talks about fundamental analysis, technical analysis. Once we get our market bearings, we start drilling down to individual stocks. Once we find the best stocks, then we finally will consider leverage and options trading strategies. What impact does the market have on our option trading strategies and on our allocation? Which option strike price should I use? Which expiration month should I use? Which option strategy should I use? All of this is included in the free ebook. Whether you sign up for any of our products or services or not, the ebook is a great educational piece for you. Option Stalker Manual. You don't have to download Option Stalker, but you'll find the manual on the download page. Just click the image of the manual and you'll see all of the different features within Option Stalker. It's very, very well documented. Click on any one of those links and it'll take you directly to that specific topic. You'll see all the features that are included in the trading platform. You'll also see the scans that we run. You'll also see a description. What are the scans? What are they looking for? When do we use them most effectively? You'll also see information on a custom search engine that we use. What are all these different variables and all these different time frames? What do they mean and how can we use these to find the best stocks? All of this is in the Option Stalker manual. Lots of educational content in there as well. Tutorials. On the website, you'll see a tutorial link. Dozens and dozens of videos that are recorded and posted, each with their own topic. One thing I can tell you about each one of these videos is there's lots of educational content. And it'll be current content with trade ideas. So you'll be able to see the trade ideas and how we have found those trades and how to structure the trades and how the features within Option Stalker fit within that systematic trading approach. That's also the framework that's provided by the ebook. You'll see how all the puzzle pieces fit together and you'll see consistency throughout everything that we do from my training videos to my chat room to my trades that I do in my swing trading alerts. It all fits together. YouTube. At the bottom of the website, you can see on each one of our page pages, there's a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I post videos to YouTube almost every day. These are very current trade ideas, so you'll be able to see how they perform. You'll be able to see how Option Stalker helped us find these trades. Look at the comments that are posted below each video. Are they favorable? Are they bad? Are people giving the videos a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Do your due diligence. Get your comfort level as high as it possibly can be so that when you're ready to take the trial, you're actually excited about it and you're ready to hit the streets of running because you've already done all the background checking and you've got the background information. When you start the trial, you'll be ready to go read our blog. You'll also see a link to that at the bottom of our homepage. Every day before the market opens, I post my pre-open market comments. I'm not just regurgitating the prior day's news. I'm telling you how the fundamentals are setting up, how the technicals are setting up, and what I think the market is going to do in the next couple of days and the next couple of weeks. I also speak specifically to swing traders and the strategies that they should be using and the allocation that they should have. I also speak specifically to day traders and the types of strategies that they should be using. 
My blog is also oneoption.com, but instead of spelling one out, you use the number one, and you'll see that right up here. Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Again, at the bottom of the home page, you'll find a link to our Twitter account. Lots of great trading information here as well. My daily market comments, specific stock trades, links to the YouTube videos. You can follow us on Twitter. To this point, I haven't asked you for a penny. And I don't want a penny. And I don't deserve a penny. You need to do your due diligence. Make sure that you have a high comfort level. Then come in, ready to take the trial with a high level of excitement. The registration process, let's talk about that very quickly. You can just come in and register with the website to get access to the ebook. And you can also register for the free trial. So when you click free trial, you're going to go to the registration page. It's gonna ask you for your name, your email address, and then you'll also be creating a password. The email address is critical here because everything that we do keys off of that email address. So if you do subscribe at a later date, that email address is going to be critically important because that is how we communicate with you. If we've got swing trading videos with live trading ideas that need to be acted upon right now, that's the only way that you're going to get that information is through that email address. Also, if there are any updates to our open positions for the swing trades, it's all going to come through that email. Once you register, you're going to see that there is a confirmation link that's been sent out to you. This is what the confirmation email looks like. It's sent out instantly. So if you don't get it within a few minutes, there is a problem. You can look for it in your spam or your junk folder. Perhaps you have to approve info at oneoption.com and whitelist it so that you're email server will allow emails to come in from this email address. If you've got the email, please click this blue link right here and the confirmation process will be completed. Now you're ready to start the trial. If you just logged in and set up an account for the ebook, you'll need to enter your email address and your password that you created and if you're ready to take the trial, you'll log in and then you can click free trial anywhere that you'd like and your free trial will begin. If you came to this page and you click the confirmation email after you had already selected free trial, it's going to send you directly into this page here. Very important that you understand our chat room policies. So I wanna make sure that you read through them. At the bottom of this, you'll see an I agree checkbox, mark it, click it. Please read through it. We're really, really efficient in the chat room. There's no small talk in the chat room. It is laser focused, trade focused. And we post symbols. We have jargon that we follow. It's important for you to understand what does it mean when he says, I'm bidding $100.50 for this stock. What does it mean when he says, I'm offering stock at such and such price? What does it mean when he says, long XYZ at 50-50? These are all explained in this chat room policy, so please make sure to read it. Realize that we are posting as quickly as we can. We need to make that communication super, super efficient because we're busy trading. We don't have time to write a dissertation. Boom, post the symbol, post the entry price, move on. We'll talk a little bit more about the chat room in a second. Once you're logged in, you'll also see a link called account. When you come into account, you can see there's a cancel button and your active subscriptions. Now you're taking the trial. There's nothing to cancel because I don't have your credit card information. There's nothing to renew. But if you had subscribed to one of our services, then you would be able to cancel your subscription by going into the account page. You can continue to use the subscription until it expires. This simply cancels the auto renew and all of our subscriptions do auto renew. So let's talk about the chat room. I wanted to make this laser focused, trade focused. I put a premium on making sure that every stock that is listed in the chat room follows our systematic approach. If it doesn't, I'm going to take issue with the person that posted it. 
and I will call them out privately. So as you're taking the trial, please don't post to the chat room until you know what our systematic trading approach is. But you'll see one of my favorite day trading searches listed here. If there's a yellow background, it means that the symbol is new to the list. You'll also see our market rating. This allows us to see what the trend is. Is it deteriorating? Is it improving? You'll also see how our trade signals are lining up on a multitude of different time frames. And then, yes, of course, you're going to see us posting trades in the chat room. And this is how easy the posts are. Long, A-R-C-T. Long, S-O-S. I ask that all of our traders post very, very timely entries and exits. If you posted an entry, I want to see an exit, whether it was a winner or a loser. And that keeps us all honest. I don't want any delays either. I don't want any heroes who say that I bought stock XYZ yesterday and I forgot to post it. And I just sold it for a whopping profit today. That's a no-go. We don't need to see any of that. If you did the trade, you didn't post it, keep it to yourself. If you're doing a trade and it doesn't fit our systematic approach, good for you. Don't post it. So we want to make sure that that consistency is adhered to within the chat room. Here's how to get the most out of the chat room. We've got a lot of people who come in, they take the trial. All they want to do is pick some trades off in the chat room. That is very, very short-sighted. I encourage you, watch the trades. Don't trade them because once you put a trade on, you're just going to be hawking the performance of that trade and you'll be oblivious to everything else that's going on. The best thing to do is when a stock symbol is posted, see which searches that stock symbol comes up in. Take a look at the daily chart. Take a look at the five minute chart. See what commonalities there are for each one of these trades that is posted and then you'll start to get a sense for the patterns that we like to trade. If you're seeing stock symbols, that means it is a stock day trade. I personally, when I'm day trading, I always trade stock. I get four to one leverage. I have a very tight bid ask spread. I can buy on the bid. I can sell on the ask. I can't do that with options. So the liquidity is infinitely better if I trade stock than if I trade options. The other thing is that there could be the absolute perfect chart setup for a stock. But if it doesn't have liquid options and I only trade options, then I'd have to take a pass on it. That makes absolutely no sense to me. So when I post, I'm going to post the symbol, my entry, I'm trading stock. Other traders, if they post options, they will post exactly which options they are trading. So again, learn the patterns that we trade. In particular, we want stocks with relative strength. We want stocks with heavy volume. We want stocks that are breaking out. We want stocks with momentum. There are certain patterns that we also look for, continuations, reversals. Those are the types of things that you really should try and home in on over the course of the two-week trial. If I'm trading options or swing trading, I'm going to be doing option trades. Now, I happen to send out my swing trades on Wednesday evenings in a video link. If there's another opportunity, say on a Sunday night, I'll do a video and I'll also send out that link. I only do my swing trading posts after market hours and I do it that way so that everyone has an equal opportunity to get in on the trade. And I also have a model account that I post the results in so everyone can track and see how we're doing. If I'm talking generically about a stock during the day without posting a symbol, it's because I'm talking specifically about the SPY, the S&P 500. Market first, market first, market first. My job is to make sure that everyone in the chat room is on the right side of the action. So I'm constantly analyzing what the S&P 500 is doing. I'm analyzing what my 1OP indicator is doing. When the market has a decent range and decent movement, I'll actually be posting SPY trades. Actually, I'm trading the S&P E-mini futures, but I post it as SPY because everyone has that data. So you'll know when I'm long the market, when I'm short the market. But for most traders in the chat room, there is an incredible advantage to trading the underlying stock. So I would urge you, if you're an S&P trader, learn how to trade stocks with relative strength or relative weakness first. Huge edge. And I talk about that 
in pretty much everything that I publish. So that's our edge that we keep working every day. Gauge the success of what we're doing. See if the trades that we enter and exit are successful. That's what you should be doing during the trial when you're in the chat room. The beauty of this is it's not just me posting. There are lots of traders who have come in. They've learned the systematic approach. You're going to see lots of traders making fantastic trades by following the systematic trading approach. That's when I think you're going to get really excited about what we do. Push format. What does that mean? That means that all of us are super busy trading. And so during the course of the day, we're trying to get that information out as fast as possible. Part of it is so that other traders can follow along with us. We're sharing our ideas because I may see something that I missed and someone else makes a post and I go, wow, excellent pick. But the reason that we have a push format is so that if I put up symbol XYZ, I don't need to have people asking me, why did you pick XYZ? What is your exit? What is your stop? How do I learn how to day trade? All of these questions are kind of noise to us, and I don't want to make it sound like we're not a friendly community. We are. We're just laser focused on trading. After hours, ask your questions. Then you can post things, but don't come in and say, what do you think of Nike? But you're going to get no response from our traders. They're busy trading. They don't have time to look at your trades or your ideas. So be very passive during your trial. Look at this as a learning experience and know that that chat room is all business. That's the way that we want to keep it. After hours, we got lots of traders that are posting six, seven hours after the market's closed. They share trading strategies. They show share trades that they're considering, different methodologies that they're using, different indicators that they're using, talk about different platforms that they use. So there's always information if you need to fill in the gaps, save those questions for the after hours session. Option Stalker, we haven't even talked about the engine that drives all of our decision making. This is the golden goose. You go to the download page. It is a Windows based platform. Click on Windows. It will download the program. If you're a Mac user, we have a link here that shows you how to uh, download Apple's boot camp that will allow you to run windows based programs also there are links to parallels and other windows emulation programs that work just fine so once you download option stalker realize that it is a client based software application what does that mean that means that this is not web based this is not browser based this is not something you find on the internet you find it on your computer the software program is downloaded to your computer. So you'll find a one option logo, double click it, and that will launch Option Stalker. And you'll get this pop up window. You'll put in your login credentials, the same login credentials that you use for the website to log into the chat room are also used to launch Option Stalker. Once you've done that, then you'll be able to select your brokerage interface that you're going to be using. So we have APIs for Ameritrade, Tradier, and Interactive Brokers. First, let me cover Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers has a API setting that you need to configure. Go into the FAQ, go down to the very bottom of the page. I have a screenshot taken of exactly how you need to configure the API for Traders Workstation. Once you've done that, it's a one-time deal. Launch Traders Workstation, then launch Option Stalker and the two will automatically interface once you have those settings configured. Now the other two broker APIs, one is Ameritrade and one is Tradier. They both work in a similar fashion because once they're selected, you're going to get a pop-up window for each one of these. When you get that pop-up window, that's when you have to enter your information, your account information with those specific firms. And I'll show you two examples in just a second. I want to talk about the IEX version. That is a not real-time version. IEX offers real-time quotes, but they're kind of delayed. You will not get intraday charts. If you are just looking to test drive Option Stalker and you don't have an account with those three brokerage firms, 
it will work fine for you. Just realize that you're missing quite a bit by not having real-time real data coming in and access to intraday charts. If you're a swing trader who really does all their analysis at the end of the day, you won't miss a beat using the IEX version because all the prices, all the charts update after the closing bell and you won't miss a beat. So it'll operate just as the brokerage interface versions work, except that you won't have the ability to route trades through Option Stalker. And that's something that I do want to point out is that once you connect with Ameritrade Interactive Brokers or Tradier, you're able to actually trade through the Option Stalker platform, see your positions, exit your positions. All of this is described in great detail, so I'm not going to hit that right now. So if you want to just try out Option Stalker, you can use that option or IEX version and you don't have to connect to a brokerage firm. When you've selected Tradier, this is the Tradier pop-up that you're going to see. Enter your Tradier username and password. If you selected Ameritrade, this is the Ameritrade pop-up. Enter your Ameritrade user ID and password. As soon as you do that, the platform is going to launch. This is what Option Stalker looks like. You're going to get a main screen that looks like this and I'll tell you how I like to configure it very quickly I like to have it take up about three quarters of the screen and you can see the other part of the monitor that is still left blank and the reason that I do that is that I like to click chart and I like to dedicate a chart just to the S&P 500 the SPY so I expand the chart I drag it all the way to the end of the monitor and I select M5 because I'm always wanting to watch what the S&P 500 is doing on a five minute basis. And then I click 1OP. This is my proprietary 1OP indicator. It is fantastic. It is the only indicator that I use to trade the S&P 500 futures. Now, the beauty of this is that once I click the main screen again, I'll always be able to see what the S&P 500 is doing on a five minute basis, particularly useful when I'm tracking a stock and I'm thinking about entering the stock, I'll put a five minute chart up of the stock. And if I see the market going tick, tick, tick downward, and I see the stock holding its own or tick, tick, tick moving higher, I know tick for tick. This stock has buyers. It wants to go. As soon as the market finds support or as soon as this 1OP indicator has a bullish cross after a deep trough, I know it's time to start buying that stock. That's why I like to use this and I also need to have my finger on the pulse at all times I need to know what the market is doing it drives all of my decision making so I just click on the main chart and that'll overlay if I want to go back and take a look at the entire day of the SPY on a five minute basis I can click on that back chart and then click on the primary chart again question I get all the time is how do I change symbols hover over any area in the chart and just start typing any blank area in the chart, start typing, hit enter, the chart will change to that symbol. There is no dialog box that you have to look for. Now, what searches should I use when I start? If you're on the trial, the best thing to do, you know, obviously read the manual, but easy thing to do is click scanner, click bullish. These will be all the searches that you have available to you. Click on any one of the searches and you'll see the symbols populate right here. Click on the symbol and the chart will change. These first four searches right here, pop bull, pop plus bull, buy into earnings, strong into earnings, all are described in detail in the manual. What are they? How do they work? Why do they work? These are great for swing trading. If you're a day trader, heavy buying, relative strength 30, bullish explosion, bull run, these are my day trading go-to searches. So when the opening bell sounds, I am pounding the heck out of those searches. This is a great starting point for you. Use our canned searches. They are excellent. For every bullish search, there's a bearish counterpart. Then click custom search. Go in, learn what these variables are. What do the variables find? Are they looking for momentum? Are they looking for proprietary buyer sell signals? Are they looking for... Uh, relative strength. Are they looking for heavy volume? Are they looking for Hake and Ashy continuations or reversals? Learn what all of these are. Option liquidity. You want to look for stocks that have great option liquidity. You want to do some earnings searches based on the earnings announcement date. 
This custom search engine is so dang powerful. You really should go in, check it out, click around, get a feel for it, create some of your searches, save some of your searches. That would be a great use of your time while you're on the trial. Help. If you have any questions, you can always reach us. You click help. It's on every web page. It's going to launch a pop-up support chat window. Enter your information and we'll be able to assist you and answer any questions that you might possibly have. Let's say that everything went really, really well and you're super excited to join us. Well, then it's time to subscribe and I'll tell you very quickly what the distinctions are between Option Stalker and Option Stalker Pro. Option Stalker is really intended for a swing trader. It does not include the chat room, doesn't include the day trading searches I showed you, doesn't include bullish explosion, which that bullish explosion search is just absolutely incredible. If you are a day trader, just a handful of those trades will pay for a year and then some. Short-term variables that you saw in the custom search engine are also not included. Only variables two hours, four hours, and daily, which those are what you should be using to find your swing trades anyway. The 1OP indicator is not included with Option Stalker, and the custom alerts are also not included with custom uh, with Option Stalker. If you are an active swing trader, meaning your holding period is maybe a few days or so, and you're active during the day, there's absolutely no question that you should get Option Stalker Pro. It's got all the bells and whistles. It has so many ways to help you make money. Now you'll notice that my prices are structured. I don't offer any discounts. I don't have any special offers. I've tried to keep my prices very, very reasonable. If you're not sure if this is going to be right for you or not, start out with a monthly subscription. No long-term commitment. $79 a month for Option Stalker, $159 for Pro. Try it out. If you get a couple of months under your belt and everything is going really well, then save yourself some money and commit to a longer term. You'll also notice that when you're ready, the annual subscriptions will save you about 50% over the monthly charge. So this is your quick guide to Option Stalker. Thank you so much for your interest. I hope to have you aboard.